Hi, so there's something I wanted to share with you that I think is absolutely super cool. It's the ability to do what seems impossible, and that is copper plate aluminium. Now, you can't normally copper plate aluminium because it's just too reactive a surface. It's very difficult to get it on there. So one thing you would need to do first is passivate the surface. Now, sur surface passivation is something that's understood with aluminium. Uh, normally, you use chromate salts because chromate salts are carcinogens and they're not really something you want to play with. So what we need is some way of making that aluminium surface passive so we can, chrom uh, we can copper plate it or equally passivate it so we could use it in supercapacitors so that the aluminium won't rot. And of course, that's where I get my interest from it. Now, we take a bit of aluminium and then put a passivation coat on it. So there's a nice surface silver aluminium. There is the aluminium with the surface passivation, and there is the alumin aluminium that's been passivated and copper plated. And I think that's awesome, like I say. Now, so here you can see the bare aluminium, and here you can see the golden color that is the conversion coating, and here's the aluminium tab where I connected it. And here you can see the aluminium, that bit's the golden color of the conversion coating, and here's the really cool bit, that bit there is copper plated. The way to passivate it really is to use a different passivation agent. And there is one, it's a molybdate. I'm using a sodium molybdate solution, incidentally. And if you want to passivate the surface of the aluminium, the first thing you really need to do is clean it. This is just a bit of kitchen foil, just taken off the rock. So that has a whole load of grease on it and various contaminants from the production process and from the handling process. So if you try to do something with that, you're not going to do a very good job just because it's dirty. So the first thing to do is give it a wipe over with some IPA, isopropanol alcohol, or equally you could use um, acetone just to clean all that dirt and grease from the surface. Now we want to clean off some of the oxides and give it a little etch. And what I've got here is a 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. And you put it into the 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide and just leave it for about 15 to 30 seconds, just enough to clean off the surface. Now we're going to wash it, and we're going to wash it in water. That's all that's in this beaker. And then we're going to put it in the passivation chemical, which is here. And as I say, that's a mixture of 5% uh, acetic acid, which is vinegar, and sodium molybdate. It's a 0.1 molar solution of sodium molybdate, and then it's, um, it was originally 100 mils, and then made up 200 mils with 5% acetic acid, or if you like, just ordinary vinegar. And there we go, it's had its 30 seconds. Let's give that a wash in water, and then we pop it into the molybdate passivation coat. Now, that will actually take about 20 to 30 minutes. And just leave it setting, uh, set, sitting, sorry, and it'll turn into a nice golden colour, and you'll see that golden colour just appear. Once that golden colour's appeared, then you can do other things with it. You could use that as a current collector for a supercapacitor, or you could do what I did with it, and that is um, copper plated in a copper plating bath. And here I've got a bit in a copper plating bath, there we go. That bit's been in that copper plating bath for a little while, and we're getting a nice copper coating on it. And this is our universal um, plating solution that we've got in here with a uh, copper around it, and then a bit of cloth, and then it's filled with the universal plating solution. And we fill it with the universal plating solution, and we can actually just plate straight onto that passivated surface. So depending on what you want to do, and, and you can see that's already beginning to go golden after about a minute, but as I say, leave that for about half an hour. Depending what you want to do, then you can actually copper plate aluminium surfaces, which is considered impossible, or use that passivated surface as a current collector. Anyway, I thought that was really exciting and tremendously useful, so I thought I'd share it with you. I hope it was of interest, and thank you very much for watching.